Hello Crafty family and welcome to another Dollar Tree Hacks and Ideas video by She's So Crafty. Now in this video I will share with you lots of quick craft ideas to keep in mind when you head out on your trip to the Dollar Tree and no worries every project shown has the tutorial link in the description box by the project number so you can see how to create it and all of the supplies that are needed. So let's head to the Dollar Tree while I will share what I've created with my finds. Now I'm starting off in the Halloween section and I saw these little boxes here. These are really cute. I love the shape of these. I have made a few projects with these. Now what I've done is I have covered one with some of these stained craft sticks and added handles. These make the cutest little trinket and planter boxes. I've also taken one and painted it and give, given it in like a worn enamel look. You can add ribbon, you can add flowers to these, you can keep them plain, however you like. These are so fun to make. And check out this little wagon. So I've done one in a wagon shape for the fall. I really think this turned out super cute and everything was from the Dollar Tree. Now another thing in the Halloween section are these little cauldrons. They also have these for St. Patrick's Day and what I've done with these is given them a two-toned textured look these little pots look so high-end with that new texture i love how they turned out now i've also made some candle stands using the bowls from the dollar tree and the cauldron pots so this is another great idea that you could do now I love these little jars they have in the Halloween section. These are for candy, but what I did is I ended up painting these and giving them a white and black look. You could use these as little planter pots or you could just use them lidded and store little trinkets inside. Now we've all seen these little lanterns at the Dollar Tree in the Halloween section and you don't have to keep them for Halloween. All I did was I cut out the design with a hot knife. I added the clear chopping mats to have the frosted look, or you could add some screening from the Dollar Tree wastebasket or gutter guard to have this look as well. Now these little pumpkins that I saw with the wire, when I saw these, I knew I wanted to add some embellishments to them. So I did remove that covering and I added beading, you guys. It's so easy to bead, uh, add beading to the wire on these. And here's one in a brown and natural. And here's one more of a more natural neutral tone. So I love how these turned out. Now the Halloween houses were out this year and I had to grab one to do a project and what I did is I turned this spooky little house into something more neutral. I love the farmhouse transition to this and adding the little welcome sign underneath it. Now we had these little crystal ball signs with the hanging open. What I did with this is I also painted that, gave it a more neutral look and you have an interchangeable greenery option at the very top. Now these boards I always use year round and I have them for every season. Now I've made lots of projects but my most recent project with this are these house sconces. You can add any kind of little greenery or potted greenery on the shelf throughout the year to use them year round. Now check out this triple pumpkin. Now this was in the plus aisle of Dollar Tree. I love this. This was $3 and what I did was I stained it and I added an array of little fall pumpkins and florals to the front. So very cute. Now they have these little boxes out and they had them out in fall for they had pumpkin sayings on them. Now what I did with one of those is I transitioned it into this galvanized slotted box with little hooks at the bottom. This was such an easy project to do. Now they also have those hanging boards with the pumpkin cut out in black as well. So you could use those for projects. Now what I did with mine is I cut off the pumpkin and I added some little galvanized little bells that I made for the Christmas holiday. Now, speaking of Christmas, they had so many fun ornaments out. I love this star. And some of the things I've done with this is made this Christmas tree. It was so easy to make with that star tree topper. Now, I've also added that star to a little round sign that I recently created, and it was the perfect center piece for this project. 
Now they have these little trinket boxes. These are in the shapes of little bells. Now they have trees and stars as well. Now if you separate the boxes, you could paint them and add some Dollar Tree little stickers on them. And I have this Tis the Season sign made from those. Now I love the little ornaments. These Noel ornaments really stood out to me. So they were pretty enough to frame. So I definitely made some frames out of Dollar Tree supplies and I framed the ornaments for my display. Now I love these MDF little snowflakes. They had two different designs at my Dollar Tree and these are really good quality. So I made two different ones. Now for the first snowflake, I painted it black. And what I did is I took a white paint, paint marker and I made ticking stripes. And then on the other side, I added greenery. Now for the second snowflake, what I did is I painted that white on one side. And then the other side, I added this buffalo check and then added some greenery. So easy and interchangeable all the season long for the winter. Now I do love these snowflakes as well. These 10 packs of snowflakes are probably one of my favorite snowflakes to work with at the Dollar Tree because there's so much you can do with them. So I made this little framed Christmas tree out of those snowflakes. So fun and easy to do. Now what I also did with these is I actually framed them and I cut them into different designs to make them look at like three different snowflakes and frame those. And look at this winter display. I recently shared this. This is one of my favorites with the snowflakes. Now the wood sleds, you guys, these are such great quality. I'm so excited to see these back at Dollar Tree. And the one great thing is they are so easy to paint and customize. So for one of them, I did stain it in a neutral color and added some greenery to the front. Really simple but elegant design. And then for the second one, I went ahead and painted it black. And I made a different bundle to put on that one. You could easily interchange that bundle throughout the season. Now these round ornament signs are out every year and I always love to craft with them. They're so fun. So what I did with this is I made this believe sign by covering it in some buffalo check fabric and adding embellishment. It does look so high end at the very end of the project. Now I also covered one in one of the, the dollar store dish towels and I trimmed it out with greenery. That one was really fun and easy to do. And then for the third one, I transitioned into a spring piece. So you could use Christmas decor and transition it over to another season. It's so fun to do. Now, you guys, I just want to pop in and let you all know that the tutorials for all of the projects that I'm sharing today are listed in the description box by the project number in the video. So be sure to make a note of your favorites. Now, if you love high-end DIYs and projects, be sure to follow me on all of these platforms to keep up with my latest creations. So now let's just get back to all of those hacks and ideas. Now check out this deer. This deer was on the plus aisle in Dollar Tree. This comes in silver, but I had to paint it black and add some winter embellishments. I think it was an elegant upgrade to this item. And of course, these glitter deer, these jumping deer are out every year. I love these. Now, there's a couple things that I've done with these. I have covered one in the microfiber mop head at the Dollar Tree. I actually really love how this turned out. And then recently I shared how I covered one with my faux galvanized technique. And this turned out very nice. So I really highly recommend that you give this one a try. Now these large Merry Christmas signs are back with the glitter on them. These are a very large size for $1.25, you guys. Now I've done a couple things with these and these are Kirkland dupes. So I made a Kirkland dupe of this Merry Christmas sign using that Dollar Tree sign. I also made another Kirkland dupe using just the bottom half of the sign by adding Christmas to this framed plank display. And check out these signs. So they have the Let It Snow and the Merry and Bright. They have the, all these little wood signs with the words. And I love cutting these apart and customizing them into all of my crafts. So for the Let It Snow, I added it to the back of one of the Dollar Tree wood puzzles after it was stained. Such an easy project to do. And it looks so high end. 
Now I did cut the bright away from the merry and bright and I did add it to a Dollar Tree tray and added ornaments and beading. And then I did, I grabbed a wood ornament sign from the Dollar Tree and I took part of the merry and bright sign. I took the merry part and added it to the sign after I painted it and it looked awesome. Now another project I did with the bulb is, is paint and stain and added the word snow that I got from the dollar store. Now I love the little wood snowflakes at the Dollar Tree. I love these eight packs and I've seen them in five packs, but I always grab the eight packs when I see them to get a more bang for the buck. And this was a Kirkland's dupe, this little lantern. I added snowflakes in all of the little windows, windows <laughs> for a Kirkland dupe. Now the candy cane frames are back, the wreath forms are back. So what I did with this is I grabbed that microfiber mop head and covered it and added some embellishments. I love how this one turned out. And check out these galvanized metal little tree rings that you put at the bottom of your trees. There's so much you can do with these. And what I decided to do is use it for an all season piece. I added it to the bottom of a bowl that's reversible and I used it as a candle stand, you guys. So you could use these all year round. Just remove the wording with acetone. Now check out this wood Christmas tree. This is a great blank to work with. And again, I used it as a Kirkland's dupe piece and I trimmed out the tree with beading to match it. Kirkland's piece that I saw online. Now I love these little bottles, especially the green one with this beautiful texture. And what I did is I painted it white and highlighted that texture with my stamping technique that is so super easy. I love the look of these. And these textured vases are really cute too. I love the rib design of these and they give them a little extra ump. So what I had to do is I painted those white and highlighted that texture in like a rustic finish. You can add bows, you could add greenery and use these year round. Now the crates are an all time favorite. I love these crates. I have done so many projects with these, but my most recent projects with these include this wagon where I used three crates and wheels from a toy at the Dollar Tree to create this fall wagon display. I also used them to make this three tier modern piece that you could put faux plants in or you can use it for organization. That one was really fun. And check out this modern piece as well. You could add legs or have it flat on the table to make a centerpiece planter, which looks really high end. Now also in the craft section, I saw these little houses. These have like a dry erase or a chalkboard finish on the inside. And I decided to make a crate with these. So I used one of these houses at each end of this crate. I lined it with craft sticks and paint stir sticks and it turned out like a cute little crate for all year round. Now look at these little wood planks. Now the Dollar Tree just recently started carrying these in my area, but you can get these online or at any store. And I created this four plank design. Now all four planks were used to make all of these different word combinations for this project. So I love the versatility that you can get four words out of four planks. Now look at these. I love these signs with that rustic white finish on them. So what I did is I cut them down to make boxes from them. So you could use it as a planter. You could add some tea lights inside to highlight that store, or you can add fairy lights. Really cute. And finally, I walked over to the Christmas section. I had to grab a couple of these cake pans to make a tiered tray. Now, I did finally put one together with an enamel look all screwed together. So it's so super sturdy. I really hope you give this one a try. It was so much fun. Now, I do hope that this video gave you more exciting ideas and inspiration and that you are ready to start creating some fabulous crafts as well. Now, if you have not already, be sure to check out part one with over 80 different hacks and ideas. We also have part two with over 50 ideas. We have part three with over 65 ideas and part four with 50 more ideas, giving you guys over 250 completely different hacks and ideas on those those videos. Now I'll be sure to link them in the description box so you can check them all out.
Now, if you love to shop Dollar Tree too, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what projects you're going to try. Make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to see all of my new fresh content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.